Let's have some aquaponic fun. Let's talk about some pH. Why is it important? We're going to show how to test for it. And I'm also going to talk about how to get it where you need it. So those little plants grow the best that they can. So let's get started now. When I started in aquaponics, I went and got fish. I went and got uh, the media. I was actually doing grow beds at the time. Went and bought all these baby plants because it was springtime and I loaded these beds up with plants. Everything looked beautiful. And in fact, after, oh, I'd say a month and those plants just, they, they kind of sit around for a week and all of a sudden, boom, they start growing really good, growing really fast. And then after about I'd say a, a month and a half or so, all of a sudden they started dying. I just started having plants die and then the system just looked terrible and anyway, it just kept going on until actually I lost everything. Before I finally figured out how important pH was, I kept, I mean, uh, people would advise me on different things and I tested for different things and it wasn't until the very end that we, they're like, well, finally they're like, well, what's your pH? because they just assumed I knew this. Well, going into aquaponics, in the very beginning, I had no idea. Peach was even an issue. Water's water. I just pour water into plants, and they seem to drink it. Well, P, uh, what happens in an aquaponics is when your pH gets too high, don't matter how much nutrients you have in that water, there's a point where it's called nutrient lockout. And once it hits that point, the plant can't touch any of that nutrient anymore. It just can't do it. It's locked out. It just floats by and waves as your plant withers and dies. So that's what happens. Now in my area, right out of the taps, about seven, eight, it's really close to that nutrient lockout mark. So one of the things I have to do is lower pH. Every time I t add water, I, ha I get things like this product right here, pH decreaser. Now it's adding pretty much acid to the system and you're gonna see a decrease in your pH. Now you don't wanna blast it really hard all at once. You could probably kill your fish real quick doing that. But you do it over a series of, of days to a week or so and you can lower it whatever you want. I got my system down to about 6.8 right now, 6.6, six, somewhere in there. I'm quite happy. You kinda of aim for around seven to 6.8, somewhere in there and, and it seems really good. Uh, another thing that I did at the beginning was is uh, you see this nice center block here. I thought, well, that I had a turtle actually in my system at one time, one of my systems at one time, and that ended up being a piece of decoration for the turtle. It worked well for the turtle. The turtle got up out of the water. The turtle seemed to love it. He'd go through those holes. It was awesome. But I could not keep that pH acidic i couldn't keep it down it would go basic it would just shoot clear up to seven 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 eight or beyond and come to find out cinder blocks leach out and what they do is they end up turning your uh, water real basic real fast too I and mean, it'll do it in just a couple hours start changing it now in six days there was just an explosion of growth and it's just awesome to see literally you go to sleep one night you wake up and your plants just just inches bigger just shoots clear out and you can see the growth every day it's it's amazing that's a good update on that that just shows how important ph is to an aquaponics i tell you you can have everything else perfect great fish that's that the fish love like i said love basic they love it um and they they could be doing healthy but your plants may be lagging, they may not, uh, you just see really slow growth or no growth, and a lot of times it's going to be that pH, and when you check it, man, and it's it's out of whack, if you dial in that pH, a lot of times your aquaponics, boom, takes right off, everything's great.